Bob the Builder employs laborers to help with his um, build it quick house building business. So he, Bob the Builder, this is Bob the Builder, and he has a business of building quick houses. Okay. So what is this? Uh, what is his strategy? He uses three, or he allows three days for six laborers to put up a house. So if he has six laborers, and if they work for three days, say eight hour work, uh, work days, they can put up a house. Assuming all the work laborers work at the same rate, how long will it take for the house if he employs eight laborers? Okay, so let me make it a bit colorful. So let me write the information that we have. So D for days and L for laborers. Okay, so what is the information? In three days, he needs six laborers to do the work that he's doing of building a house, a quick house. So the question is, if you've got eight laborers, how many days would it take? Okay, now this is an example of inverse proportion. This is an example of inverse proportion. Now in inverse proportion, uh, when one quantity increases, the other would decrease. Okay, so yeah, logically, if you have more laborers, if you have more laborers, you will have you need less number of days. Or if you, if you, if this increases, so this is increasing, this is increasing, if this is increasing, so what should happen to the number of days? This should decrease. The num the answer that you get here should be less than three. So this is decreasing, and this type of relationship is called inverse proportion. Okay, so let's try to uh, use some logic here. So you know you've got days and laborers. So the information that we have, if you have three days and six laborers are working, you can get the work done. Okay, so before we answer this question, let's think about it. Suppose if you want to get it done in, say, with three laborers, okay, you've got less laborers. What will happen? So this is how much? This is what's happening to this. So this from six to three, well, I have to divide by two. So this is getting half. If the number of laborers is getting half, logically, what should happen here? This should increase proportionally. Okay, if this is decreasing, you if you have less laborers, obviously, it will take longer to build the house. So it will increase in the same proportion Okay, but inversely, that means if this is getting half, this you have to double. So this you will need six days. You need six days to build the house. Okay, now let's think. If suppose you have nine laborers, you have getting, you are having nine laborers. So what's happening here? So this is increasing by three times. Okay, if this is increasing by three times, this would decrease. If this is increasing, this will decrease. Or if this is times by three, this you have to divide by three. Okay, divide by three. That means you need two days to finish the work. So one interesting thing is if you multiply this quantity with this quantity, so let's do D times L. Make up a new column here. This is three times six. Three times six is 18. Can you see a relationship? This is six times three which is also 18, and this is 2 times 9, which is also 18. So in, in any example of inverse proportion, the product of the quantities would be a constant number. Okay, so let's come back to the question. Okay, we have got the question, you've got days and laborers. Okay, so the information that we have is, if you have three laborers, so in three days, six laborers can do the work. So if you have two laborers, so I want you to think the logic. What's happening here? So this is decreasing. So this is divide by three, isn't it? This is divide by three. So if this is divide by three, this will increase in the same proportion and inversely. So this will be times three. So you need nine days. <coughs> and that's what we did. Okay, this will also become inversely, 2, 9, 9, 2, can you see? The product is constant. Now, if you have, <coughs> suppose from 2, you can go to 8. 8, so 2 times what is 8? 2 times 
4 is 8. So if this is increasing by 4, this will be decreasing. Uh, if this is times 4, this would be divided by 4. This is divided by 4, which is 9 divided by 4. So that means, so let me write, explain. 9 divided by 4, let me write this as a uh, mixed number. So 4 goes in 9, 2 times, and 1. So in other words, if you have 8 laborers, if you have eight laborers, you need you need only two and a quarter day, two and a quarter day. Okay, so if you consider one day as eight hours, so sixteen hours and a quarter quarter of a day. So let me explain this. So this is not the, you don't need to suppose let's say let one day let one day be eight hours. Say let one day of a laborer be say eight hours so two days two days would be how many hours two days would be 16 hour 16 hours okay and a quarter day a quarter day would be quarter of eight a quarter of eight is two hours so in other words in terms of hours if the question is in other words you need 18 hours 80, oops, you need 18 hours to finish this work. This is 18 hours. If one, one day is 8 hours, if one day is 8 hours, in 18 hours, you can finish this work. 